Hello everyone, welcome. So in this video, I would like to quickly show you how to deploy a Spring MVC application on Heroku. And suppose we have a Spring MVC application like this. So this is basically a music online music store that I've created. If you're interested on how to create that, you can see the whole course uh, from the description. I've added the lowest coupon there. And there are several things you need to pay attention to. First of all, suppose you're using Maven and the poem.xml file, you need to specify the packaging as WAR file, okay? So you're not gonna use jar in this case, but instead you're gonna use WAR file. And if you scroll to the bottom, I have added some more you know, dependencies or artifact here. Specifically, it's called web app runner so if we just go ahead and take a look at what this is so web app runner is designed to allow you to launch an exploded or compressed word that is on your file system into a tomcat container with a simple java space dash jar command it supports the following version of tomcat 7 8 and 8.5 and there are a bunch of more you know, instructions that you can directly follow. And I think it's pretty straightforward to use. You can just simply follow this one to deploy it to Heroku. Okay. So once you have the poem.xml set up and ready to go, you just need to do some little bit more configuration for Heroku. Specifically, you need to add a file called proc file. It's going to be uppercase P and all other uh, letters will be lowercase and the name has to be exactly the same and the file has to be put in the same level within the source folder like in parallel to poem.xml so within this proc file what it has is basically a command for deploying a web application so it will be web column java space and the dollar sign and things like this now because I assume the Heroku platform you will be starting is at Linux, and we're gonna use this dollar sign as dynamic parameters. But if you are using Windows, you're probably gonna need to use percentage sign before and after. Okay. And notice that we have add dash dash port and dollar port, some other things into it. That's because when you are deploying the application into Heroku. You cannot fix the port number, say 8080, because the Heroku will dynamically assign a specific port by the time you are trying to deploy it. Okay, so in this case, we have to add a uh, variable called dollar sign PORT uppercase like this so that it can recognize the dynamic port when it's deployed. So once you have uploaded your application to GitHub, and if you're interested, I have the GitHub like this that you can take a look. You can go to Heroku's website, heroku.com. You can set up the application and like MySQL database. And also you can link the GitHub repository to the current applications that you set up in Heroku. So notice that this is the app name, dem-island-74248. Once you have connected and you can start to launch, deploy the branch. I'm using master branch here. And once you have deployed, your application should be good to go like this. And you can see basically the application name will be, the application address will be the application name plus .herocodeapp.com. And here is the music website that I have deployed online on Herox platform. It's pretty much can operate as normal. It's fetching the database and it's responding a little slow because this is a free account. And uh, normally when you're, the, when you're first time, you know, you haven't, you know, do any operation for a while. The first time it takes a little while to warm up, say half a minute or even a minute to warm up. The system once it's warm up it's relatively you know quick to respond all right so that's pretty much for how to check out 
I mean, how to deploy you, your Spring MVC application to the Heroku platform. And notice you can do this, all the things completely free. Okay, if you're interested, you can check out my course in the description of this video. And, you know, you can don't forget to browse all other courses as well. And everything has been set to the lowest price. Okay, you just need $10. That's it. All right. Thanks, you guys, for checking out. And I wish you good luck. Have a nice day. Bye.